All right, this is just how to uh, orbit orbiters. I uh, just had problems with this in class today, so this is how you can do it. First of all, we'll start with this uh, blue ball, and we'll make that our moon. So I'm just going to go up and make a, uh, a, a motion path for that moon. And I'm just going to click once and twice and animate motion paths attached to motion paths all right and just make sure that you uh, put your uh, you, you select the options there all right oh so make sure again that you are you are in your animations options all right and there we go animate motion paths attached to motion path and start end all right start time one and we'll have our end time is just going to be 25. All right, there we go. And attach. Okay, now, should also make sure um, I'll give myself, say, uh, 500 uh, frames in this, uh, this little animation. All right, there we go. So if we, if we just have a quick play, it's just only going to go for 25 frames and stop. All right, and it'll just repeat itself like so. All right, so what we've got to do is we've got to select our uh, a motion path just here, and then I've got to make sure that I'm in the right one. My channel uh, is my channel box editor here. All right, now I've got to select my motion path down here. All right. Once I've done that, I'll just go down, select my graph, all right, and here it is. All right, that's 25 frames. I'm just going to click and drag over that, and curves, pre-infinity, and cycle, and curves, post-infinity, and cycle. All right, so that means that now that's just going to go forever. Yep, there we go. Good. Now let's go back to frame one. Go back down to here. All right, now uh, I need to... Uh, I need to... Because this has an animation in it, I can't add another animation to it. So what I need to do is say, go to my outliner. All right. And where is it? Yep. Okay, got my curve here. I need to, all right, again, just make sure it's only the curve that you've selected. And I just need to command G, which is group. All right, there we go. Done that. Now I can just bring my earth into this. Ah. All right, so there I go. And there's that orbiting. Now I've got that. What I need to do is to group all of that. So I, yep, I'll just call that Earth. All right, so my Earth and the animation motion trail, not my blue moon. I'll now edit and group there, just down here. All right, so once I've done that, you'll see it all there. I'll call that Earth Moon. Right. Now I can select that. Well, no, I won't. I'll just make my curve first. Okay, there's my, uh, my outer orbit. All right. So now I've got to select my Earth first, and then I select my curve, and I'll go animate motion paths, attach to motion path, click on my options, I'll change that to uh, 500, 500 frames, and attach. Good, all right, and that's how it should be doing. I'll just hide my grid. And uh, yep, there we go. So that's how you can get a moon 
orbiting uh, an Earth. Okay, there we go. Let's stop.